What's up everybody, this is Night Viper, and today we are talking about recycling heroes. A lot of people have questions on this because there's not a lot of information on it. I'm going to show you guys how to recycle heroes, but I also want to show you some tips on getting more of these golden shard vouchers, that way you're not burning heroes that you don't need to burn, um, but also what heroes should you be recycling? Who do you need to keep? Because at this point I'm in season 10 and I've seen a lot of the meta lineups as the seasons go, so I know which ones you're going to need to keep, and we're going to go over that. But also, I want to go over a little bit on reverting shards and ascending heroes because it all ties together in this process. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Don't forget to subscribe so you're notified on my next video. I should be doing ones on building lineups soon, so you will be interested in seeing that. Also, check out the Discord because I go over every season and the heroes that come out in each season, some on the lineups as well, so that way you guys can get an idea on what lineups you need to be building in the future. So you can start getting those heroes now. And it's an open server, so share it with your friends. I'll put the link in the description so you can get to it. But let's go ahead and just jump into this. You guys, we're talking about recycling heroes. So let's go into how to do it in the first place. Go to your satellite nexus and click recycle. This is going to show you all the shards in your inventory. This is everybody you have that you could recycle if you wanted to. Now, up at the top, you have your currencies. We have gold shard voucher, silver shard voucher, and shard exchange token. So as we recycle heroes, we're going to be getting these currencies, and that makes it so we can come over to the exchange shop and we can buy stuff. If you look under their pictures, you'll see how much each one of these costs and the particular type of currency they're going to need. There's only about three things you really want to focus on using your currency on in this shop, and that's going to be the hero of the day, most important. This guy switches out every couple days, and I think it's every three days. And basically, you can hit this next phase button here. It's going to show you who the next guy is coming up. So you can kind of judge on how many heroes you want to burn today versus whatever's coming up next. I actually need both those guys. This is perfect for my lineups. But what we want to focus on is your exchange token because you need that to get the hero of the day and then these season of war raffle tickets because typically we weren't only able to get those if we won them or at like the end of the season stuff like that but now we have the ability to get the cards throughout the season and basically all you need is these little silver tickets which are the easiest thing in the world to get and i'll show you and you have your faction recruitment cards that's these guys now don't buy them in here. These faction recruitment cards, don't waste your gold tickets on these. You can get them in a bunch of different places. Uh, for one, you can get them by going to your Alliance shop. And every week, you can buy two of these guys right here. The other example of this is when you win your dual day. Like, this was war day, and I got 10 recruitment cards right here. So I can exchange these 10 recruitment cards for summit recruitment cards inside the shop, and I can be getting the best heroes in the game by using those instead. And those are the heroes that you would typically see people spending a lot of money on. And to know what I'm talking about with that, if you go to the recruit button, these are the heroes we're talking about. So you have your regular combat heroes, which is here. This is you're just using your regular recruitment points. And if you hit the exclamation, you can see who's included in that pool. You do have good heroes like this top row and a couple of these guys down here are really good heroes to get. But they're not the ones that people are spending bank on. That's your summit recruitment heroes. That's these guys. These are the heroes that people are striving to get and spending bank on. I mean, especially Casino, that guy's in every main lineup now. So this gives you a better opportunity to be able to get these heroes without spending a ton of money. Um, I just want you to know, it does say that you can have an elite hero guaranteed every 30 pulls. That doesn't mean it's one of these guys. Your probability of those guys is this number. It's very small. So odds are you're going to be getting a bunch of like Koba constantly. And you're not going to get these guys. You're going to need a lot of these cards. So that's why it's good that we're able to get them in other places, not just winning them at the end or by doing an event or something. But let's jump into the shop again here. And I will say that the heroes that pop up in this spot here are good heroes. Um, not all of them, of course, but you do have like Benson, you have Victoria, you have Haytex, Ricardo. All those guys cycle through here. They're all part of that cycle pool. So just keep an eye on the shop and you may hit several days where you get almost nothing over here or people that won't help you or people that you've already maxed out but then you end up in a day like i'm at i need a benson shard and i need a ricardo shard so the next couple days i'm going to be able to get one of each of those guys that's going to help me out drastically so let's go into how to actually get this currency how do you get these so that you can exchange it 
And that's back here in the recycle shop. Now, a few things right off the bat. When you want to recycle somebody, you click on the hero that you want to recycle. And if you click on more than one, it's just going to check mark them. You can hit the recycle button and then it will give you your currency. To know how much you're going to get for these, it'll actually say it down here. So as you click, that number is going to change. Whoever you add on or whoever you take away, that number will change. Now, green heroes are just going to give you the silver vouchers, but that's good. You get green heroes all the time when you recruit, and you can do these silver vouchers to get your summit cards, which you need, your Season of War raffle tickets. A couple things to note that'll just make it easier for you. If you just want to take out the green ones and you don't want to sit there and select every single one of them, then you can actually just hit this little filter button and you can filter through what you want to select. So in this case, I'm just going to say I want to select the green ones, boom, and that's all it's going to have. If you want to throw the blue ones in with it, you can. And now you have the blue ones too with it. So you can see. And then if you hit this little box button over here, it'll fill up to 100 because you can recycle 100 at a time. And that'll just fill up 100 and you can recycle those guys. However, I will say that the blue ones you want to keep because that is your leverage when you're ascending heroes. Blue is where you're going to be able to mix and match your heroes so that you can ascend the ones you want faster. And I have an ascension video I'll put in the description if you haven't seen it. But don't burn out all your blue guys because you are going to need them for that leverage. Green ones, you can take those guys out if you want to, especially for those summit cards. But what we really need for the hero of the day is going to be your gold cards. And for those, you actually have to take out some bigger heroes, some better heroes. So go to your elite heroes, okay? And now, I don't, I typically don't even burn the Solari heroes. Those ones, I just let upgrade. If you get to a point where they're upgraded all the way, then yeah, burn them out. But um, for now, we'll just look at the other heroes. So something you're gonna notice right away is these heroes are gonna give you different currencies, right? Even in this, where they're all purple, Coleman's gonna give me a silver, where Rebecca gives me a gold. It's based on their rarity. So Coleman, you get all the time. You're gonna get silver with him. Uh, Rebecca's more rare, so you're going to get gold. As you go up in rarity, like to Koba, you end up getting two gold. Uh, Quinn also gives you two gold, but then you hit advanced elite heroes. They're going to give you 20 gold vouchers. There's a catch with that though, because when you are buying the heroes over here, you actually need 40 of these golden tickets. So you're going to need 20 here, and you need one of these coins, which costs you another 20. So all together, to get this one hero shard, I'm going to need 40 gold vouchers, which is basically like trading in two of these advanced elite heroes. You don't want to burn all those shards out. So there's a couple things that you can do to save those shards for last if you absolutely need them. And it's going to be taking out all of the rare cards first. So you have like your Rebecca's, you have Jesse, that's not Jesse, that's Alyssa. You have Alyssa, you have Koba's because you get her all the time. With Koba, max her out first. And with all of these, it depends on the season that you're in because this opens after season one you're able to use the recycling so it depends on the lineup that you're going for but max out whoever you're going for first and then you have the option to burn them the rest of them in here um, but kin let's see no not him that girl this one this one all of these just give you a few Kelly is a little weird to me because Kelly is a really good hero for the first several seasons. But again, she gives you two gold. So you can go through and burn out all these rare heroes first before you burn any of your advanced heroes. And where this is going to come into play the most is actually when you're ascending your heroes. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you a little bit on that because they do intertwine. If I want to get a hero upgraded, um, let me go to here so I can show you. Just quick, quick. When you're upgrading heroes, if they have this little silhouette, it means you can use any hero in that place. And you can mix those heroes together to get to the next hero. That happens often. It's going to happen when you come up here, you're going to end up needing two gold here and two gold there. Now, you don't want to be burning out a bunch of your good heroes with that. So what you can do is go to, let's see, I haven't done Minutemen yet. Go to your Minutemen. Oh, pff, I haven't done them. Maybe these guys? Yeah, here. I haven't done these guys yet. So with blues, you can mix and match. So I could take a Betty, and I could take a couple item, Ivans, and I can just make a ton of Bettys with it and make her gold, a bunch of gold Bettys. And I can use her, because she's only going to give me silver shards in the exchange shop, I can use her to level up all of my heroes that need leveling over here. So in any of these spots, I can be using Bettys to get all of these, or Coleman's, or anybody that's not a rare hero, I can use here. 
That way you guys can use your excess rare heroes in the exchange shop so that you're able to get even better heroes, the guys that you're actually going to need for your lineup. So recruiting when you end up with nothing, it's not a total loss. You can bring them over here and you can recycle them. I do want to give you a couple more tips though on this, um, just things that you need to know when you're leveling up your, your heroes. For one, let's take Rebecca again, for example, you get one gold shard for her. I can actually get an orange Rebecca and I can trade her in too. I get two gold shards because it takes two purples to make the orange and that's how you get your two gold shards. So you don't lose any value by upgrading them. With that said, you can't recycle anybody that's over orange quality. If you click on the filter, you can even see it goes up to epic. That's it. No red, no gold. So if you have shards that you have leveled up past that and you don't need them, you want to recycle them, you can actually go to the ascension tab here and go down to revert and click on that that person the hero and it'll break it down to like its core components and then you can upgrade those back to purple or orange and that way you can still use them in the recycle shop but if they're over orange you're not able to use them and quick tip with that too is don't level up anybody past orange unless you're planning on making them gold to burn with somebody else or you're planning on making it a hero that you're actually going to upgrade all the way and max out but shard wise don't go any further than orange on shards and never go any further than orange on advanced elite shards because you can't do anything else with them. And you'll see that that's one of like the number one pieces of advice when somebody asks me, how do I build my lineup better? What do I need to do? And I'll see a bunch of red shards and be like, you need to reset those guys right off the bat. Uh, and to revert them, as you can see, it costs 200 coin, uh, 200 diamonds. So it's not exactly inexpensive. So just avoid that. Don't level them up past orange until you're ready to use them on something. Uh, one more thing before I start actually recycling people here. Um, down at the bottom, you have this bar. As you recycle heroes, it fills up. And when you get to the end, you get the reward. In this case, the reward would be one of these tokens. And if you go to the exchange shop, that's what you're going to need. For these guys one of these tokens is 20 of these tickets so basically it's like i recycled one of my advanced elite heroes for free like that's it's like getting one of those for free so that's something that you want to do i'm going to click on this guy and you can see i don't have any right now boom and now i got one so now i have one of these guys i apparently have done this a lot and not clicked on this so now i got two so sweet i got two of those guys and we need more of these gold tickets and I know the situation is going to come up where you're not going to have enough of these purple heroes to burn and you're going to have some advanced elite heroes in your pocket and you got somebody coming up that you really need for your lineup. And what do you do? I would suggest never burning Haytex, Victoria, Mira, Buccaneer, Benson, Ricardo, or Casino. I, I don't even think I've ever seen him in a recycle shop before, but any of those guys, don't ever do those because those are like the meta lineups right there. Those are the guys you're going to need to line to get all the time. Elaine's good too. I like that one too. But um, those are ones that you just don't want to recycle. If you have other heroes besides those, then yes, you can recycle advanced elite heroes. Again, last resort, but I do it all the time. Um, I get people like Enrique and I'll burn him left and right um, or Roland. Those are guys that I burn all the time because I just don't use them in my lineups and you don't see them in any of the main like meta lineups. If you're curious in where you're at, what the best lineups are, what you could do is just go to battle, go to your arena, and then click on the little trophy. It's probably under my picture, but there's a little trophy on the left here. This is going to show you who all the top people are. I've slacked off on the arena this week, but this is all the top people. So you could see Haytex is in every single lineup. You never want to burn him. Mira is in almost every single lineup. You don't want to burn her. Um, these guys here is pretty much money that's that's what you're doing but there are lineups that you can get without spending a ton of money and this is how you're going to make those lineups through recycling for the people that don't want to spend a lot of money on the game or can't spend a lot of money on the game the lineup that i think is going to be the best that you can get to right now is going to be haytex mira buck benson and take koba out and put ricardo those are guys that you can get all the time and you can get them in different areas um, you don't just have to go through recycling. You have like Mira and Ricardo you can get in the prestige shop. You have uh, uh, Buccaneer here where you can get him in the Alliance shop. You can actually get some, uh, what do they call that, shard fragments in the Alliance shop. And you can build him up slowly through that as well. So just going to the Alliance shop here, 
and you can get fragments of him and put him together as well. So there's other places that you can get them. You can get them from the Summit shops. You can get them from the arena tickets. Like There's other places you can get them. But for a lot of these guys in that lineup, they're going to show up right here in the shop. So this is very important to do, and it's something that I didn't do for the longest time. There's not really a lot of information out there on it. So that's why I'm making this video, to help you guys out, and that way you guys know how to do this as well. So let me get a couple more of these gold shards sort of gold vouchers, I should say, and that way I can exchange for Benson. So as you can see, I went through all these rare heroes. I didn't go with any advanced elite heroes, just the rare heroes on here, and I was able to get my 20. You hit the recycle button. Are you sure you want to recycle these ones? Yes. Boom. I have my 20 tickets now. Go to the exchange shop, and now I have the currencies that I need to get my Benson shard. Boom. And that's how it goes. So keep your rare hero shards. Don't use them leveling up other heroes. You can use just the basic hero shards in those spots with the silhouette where you can put anybody in. So that way you can keep those rare to get these when they come available. And tomorrow I'm going to do the same thing with Ricardo. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Hopefully you learned a lot about recycling. If there are any questions, then leave it in the comment section or go to the Discord. We have multiple help sections for you where you can ask questions on your lineup or any questions you have on this video. So check out the other videos that we talked about that are in the description, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.